Welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to save overexposed shots inside of Adobe Lightroom. This of course applies to the new version and the old version, Lightroom Classic and Lightroom Cloud. I think it's just called Lightroom and the old one is Lightroom Classic. And of course also in Photoshop if you import the photo or apply a camera raw filter. So first up, we're gonna get our overexposed example shot. I'm just gonna shoot the church tower in front of my window. Okay, so here we go. You can see this is a real life example shot. Just gonna overexpose it and then I'm gonna take a photo. Okay, so while these shots are importing, it's of course important that you shoot in RAW if your camera supports RAW. You can also do it with using JPEGs, but it's of course way better if you do it RAW because you have way more information to get back in the picture from the overexposed areas. Okay, so let's import the image. I'm using again Lightroom Classic because I'm just used to it and I haven't switched to the newer one because I'm so familiar with the old one. Once it's loaded into Lightroom, we can just use these basic settings on the right side to adjust it. We could just bring the exposure down, but I'm not gonna do that because it of course affects the whole picture, not just the blown out tower of the church, but it also crushes the blacks in the window stripes and it turns these beautiful white clouds into these gray, muddy, ugly clouds, which we don't wanna do that. So we're just gonna put it back to zero, the exposure, and we instead gonna take the highlights and drag them all the way down, which already brings the church tower a little bit more back. Then we turn the whites down a little bit, but not too far because it takes all of the saturation out and the contrast, but we always can add some back in later. So I'm just gonna drag it a little bit down. Then we're gonna bring the exposure down a little bit, not too much because again, we don't wanna have these gray clouds. And then we're gonna adjust the tone curve and we take the lower part and bring it down a little bit. Then we're gonna take the middle part where it says lights, not darks, and also bring it down a little bit right on this column here. Of course, this is different for every picture, but I'm gonna drag it down a little bit. And there you can see we have saved the tower a little bit. Then I'm gonna put some clarity in. Always gotta have that clarity for a crisp image. Give it a little bit of texture and then put the vibrance to about five. And there you can see we have brought a lot of the image back. If you want to compare the starting point and the final edited image, you can always just press the Y button, which shows you the original image on the left side and your edit on the right side. And that's already it. That's how you save an overexposed shot in Adobe Lightroom. Of course, that was a very dramatic example. In real life, you wouldn't have that much of an overexposed image. It's just sometimes a little bit overexposed and you can save it by dragging the highlights down and of course, do all the other adjustments. If you don't want to do that and go through that process, you can download a preset of the exact same settings I used in this video for free in my Selfie store. And that's already it from this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing for more amazing filmmaking content just like this video. You can watch more Photoshop tutorials right here and right here. And you can subscribe right here. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. Goodbye.